Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here is your beginner code for any coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. So today we are going to create a progress bar. So in this project, we will be creating an HTML page with some CSS and jQuery called Emoji Loading Bar. The idea of the project is that we want to have a loading bar progress while showing an emoji at the same time different colors as it moves from the start to the end of the bar. The web page uses HTML for the text and CSS for the design and scrolling and jQuery for the progress bar, movement and animation with the loading of emojis. So let's get started. All right, so let's get go ahead and create our web page. First, I'm going to co pen to create a custom project. I'm going to uh, click on the pen and then for our project, we're going to name it as Emoji Loader. Great. So we're going to start the project by coding the HTML part first. So for HTML, okay, so first of all, we're just going to add a div and division class, um, which is demo in this case. And then like that first. And then, okay, so in this, okay, we are going to create an uh, SRC link. Uh, this will link to the font awesome library, which we, which we will be using to add in the emojis uh, above the loading bar of our website. So script. Okay, so like this. So this will be our script. Like this. Okay, so, and then afterwards, I'll create a division called support, and inside this division, create another division called container. The container we contain some images of the emojis from the font awesome library while add five I with each class of emoji one, two, three, and four and five. You can search for these emojis in the W3 font awesome library if you want to change the emojis. Make sure that the div is closed. Okay, so afterwards, we're going to create a paragraph tag with a class of support text and have the text say loading. This should be placed inside the support class as well. So don't close our div division yet. So p class equals to support text and then loading. Okay, afterwards, uh, we can close the now, create a division with a class of loader. In this, we have to create another division with a class of loading progress, uh, excited. This is referred to the bar, um, well, first, yeah, just add it. First, the class effect. Now we're done with our HTML part. So we can move on to our CSS part. Okay, so inside the CSS part, so first of all, we're just going to give bo uh, our body a background color uh, of 1B, 1B, and 1B, and uh, a height of uh, 1000 VH. Now, we're going to make the loader and the loading progress which would be the colorful bar. Have them use a display of flex and then align the items to the center. All right. So now we create a demo, a dot demo for the class of demo. Then uh, we're going to add in a height of 500 pixels with a uh, margin background color, uh, webkit box shadow, mouse box shadow, box shadow overflow, border radius and position. So let's go for the demo first. Okay. So 
perfect. Okay, so now we're just going to give the loading progress a class in a height of like 40 pixels and then a border radius of 20 pixels. Well, okay, first of all, let's go for the loading progress first. Uh, well, this part should, uh, should be adjusted to flex, and then we uh, the transition transition of uh, all for like 0 0.4 seconds. Uh, we also need to reduce this width uh, to 10%, so that's why we add three more of these things. So, okay. Flex and How do I saw this? Right. Okay, anyways. For the loading in motion, uh, let's go to first. Now, create three classes. Make one for excited, smiling face code sweat, open mouth code sweat, and give each of these property a background color. Or you can pick any color you like or follow the along the hex codes. So you can just uh, search it. Uh, inside our website, so we can choose whatever you like. So, for example, excited. So, next, we're going to create three classes. Make one of them a grimming face, expressionless face, and then for an angry face. You can add any color you like here for the background color and follow, or follow a hex code. Uh, this is for the bar color that will move in the progress bar as the emoji loads. So, after creating all of these, uh, we are going to create a class called dot support text. Uh, this will refer to the text that says loading. So, okay, this should be given a position of a relative and then a color of white. Uh, give it a left of uh, 75 pixels and then give it the font of uh, monstrous. I don't know how to really pronounce that. Okay, make sure that the font size is 25 pixels and the height of the font is 600. So. Okay, so at this text, uh, we should give it a line height here for five pixels and make sure we're going to add uh, some spacing uh, in between the letters. This text will be using animations so we're just going to give it an animation name of color change and then a duration of three seconds and then add in an animation iteration count for the infinite so that it won't stop. Right. So now we're just going to create a CSS4 class of emoji one two three four five. Five. Uh, one two three four. So then we're just going to give a position of relative and make sure that there's like a line height of 20, 20 pixels and then give it a left of a negative 20 pixels. Give this a spacing of 15 pixels and then uh, a height and width of 50 pixels. To add an animation, uh, give it an animation name of color change and then an animation duration of 3 seconds and then add an in animation iteration count of infinite. So basically it's uh, almost like the same as the one that we did about uh, just like the larger number like what is larger line height margin height uh, width like uh, the, the line height and the position those are the uh, different ones the last part of the CSS in this part uh, we're just going to create a keyframe key which will help uh, run the animation uh, write in a color change, uh, animation type in form, and then to add in the color that you would want to add, then I'll close it with the semicolon sign. So, perfect. So now we finish the CSS part. So most importantly, we're just going to the JS now. So. Inside our JavaScript, we're going to add in a function uh, in the JavaScript script, which is called noname function. So let's start with that first. Okay. So 
this no name function. Uh, we're going to create four variables. Make one of the one for the loader, progress bar, loading motion, and then the score text. And in their location on the web page by referencing the document and then using the JS syntax for the curious selector and adding in the class name. Now, next, we're just going to create a variable called emotion color and then add in the array. Uh, then inside and add in the class that we have earlier made in the CSS, well, SS will help us to bring the background colors that we set for the emojis. So all of those complete smelling face, um, cold face, like open mouth, close red, grinsing face, expressionless face, like these. So we're just going to add it. Okay, now next, we're just going to create a variable called emotion underscore CTR and then give it to the value of zero and then make a variable of emotion text with the third value of complete. Well, wow. and then this complete thank you for waiting emoji ending emoji. So basically just like that. Sure, now put it right here. Okay. Okay. Now, next, uh, we're just going to create a variable called emotion. Oh, well. No, we're going to cut a, a variable called loading and then create a function. Uh, and then inside this function, we're going to create a variable called CTR and then give the value of 10. Then create another function called and add in set info. Then we're going to add a conditional to check if CTR is equal to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. And then add in emotion underscore CTR have the value equal to the change style change style and then adding this uh, edit and else if CTR is equal to 100. They will want to have it change emojis and have the input code to be clear. As the emojis changes the support text in the HTML to be set into emotion text and then have the loaders displayed to none and then have the button display the block. Afterwards, we're going to add in progress bar style with and then add in the value of CTR and then a percentage assigned and add in CTR plus plus with the test time of set of five hundred. So let's do that. Okay, bar new function. And then bar oops bar CTR plus ten set interval. And then if CTR equals to 20 or geez, that's a lot, 90, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Then, if there's not any of these between 20 to 90, we are just going to change our CTR to 200. Well, if CTR is more than 100, basically. Not change it to 100. We're going to check if CTR is equal to 100. Then we're just going to change uh, our style. And then we're going to clear in the code. 
import text in your HTML. And loader style display none button style display block and then for our progress bar. Worth equal to CTR plus sync CTR plus plus like that. And then afterwards, we're just going to say that 500 for this whole thing. It's the end. And then Next, we're just going to create a function change style with a parameter of ind and then adding the variable of target ind and then give it a variable of ind plus one. Then add in progress bar dot class list dot remove and then emotion color inside a parameter. Uh, what this line does is actually to remove the emoji that first display and then moves to the second emoji. Under this add in progress bar dot class list dot add and then emotion color target ID um, and then we're going to uh, uh, what well, underneath uh, we're just going to add in the loading emotion uh, dot uh, in the HTML and then have it equal to emoji ID well this refers to the emoji that we have in our array then type in return target ID and after this have the function loading and run and then close this function. So this is basically the last thing. Okay, so it's actually working. So you can see that. It's Moving, and then you can see that the emoji is changing. So basically, that's it for our project. So that's it for today. In this tutorial, we create a web page that makes use of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create an emoji loader, which change in color as it progress and then uh, display in the emoji at the same time. Make sure to subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this tutorial. Also, make sure to check out the other two videos while you're waiting for the next video. So thank you. See you next time. Bye.